Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Adobe Express. So I'm signed in as a premium member. Now you get it as part of my subscription to Adobe Photoshop. So I pay for Adobe Photoshop and as part of that, I get access to this. So if you subscribe to any of the Adobe products, I believe if you subscribe to the full app, they give you access to their browser-based apps and Adobe Express is one of those. I have done a video on it using it before. I did one on the character creator. So if you want to watch that video, click on the banner in the top right hand corner. And over the next few weeks, I'll look to produce some more videos on the different types of content you can create with it. So if those have been created, they'll be linked in the description below. So just to give you a quick run through, for those who are not familiar with it, down the outer edge, we've got your stuff. So that's stuff you've created before. Brands is where you can build together certain colors and text that you want to use. Templates is self-explanatory. We've got a whole range of different templates there. Uh, schedule. Not sure what's on schedule. There we are, a calendar. So you can schedule it. So if you want to collaborate with someone or you want to schedule a plan for creating stuff um, or, or publishing stuff to social media, you can do that there. So you can, as it says, create, plan, schedule and publish your content in all one place. Learn. Okay, we'll skip the tour. Thank you. And then we'll go to learn. And you've got some examples of what you can do. There's expert advice. There's all sorts there. So lots of help if you need it. And then there are add-ons as well. So you've got a whole raft of different add-ons which will add to the functionality. So let's go back to home. And we're going to create something. So we'll click on the plus and we can type into there what it is we want to create or we could scroll through and find it from the list. So I'm going to click in there and we're going to have a go at creating a QR code. So it didn't find anything there. So what we'll do is we'll jump up to the top and the other way you can do this is search everything. We'll type in QR code. Now QR codes, are, uh, for those not familiar with it, they are a visual link that takes you to a particular location on the web. So you can paste in your link and then it will generate the QR code based on that. So I've added my link, that's to one of my YouTube videos. So anyone wants to scan the screen now, you can watch that video. And then you can very simply alter the style. So the first thing you can do is you can change the look. So we've got blocks in this initial design, but we can make it rounded blocks or we can make it circles. I'm gonna go with circles. And then we've got these elements around the outside. We can alter the border of those. So we can have them as rounded boxes or circles. And then we can enter the center as well. We can then change the color of these five choices. We'll go for navy, I think. And we can go to file format to choose what file format we want, PNG, JPEG, or SVG. So I'm gonna go with a PNG file. Having done that, I'm ready to download that and that's ready to be used. I could insert that into my presentation or display it on screen so students can scan it and, and get access to that resource. For me, I like to use at the start of the lesson as a way of connecting them with an activity I want them to do or at the end of the lessons part of an exit ticket great way to get them access to the to whatever it is I need them to do on their device and at the start of the year you can give them access or signpost them to uh, your organization's instructions on logging on or your organization's instructions on joining the wi-fi so really useful tool uh, very easy to create and they have it a qr code so i hope you found the video useful if you did remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more edtech videos thanks for watching